you know, when we started this business a long time ago, uh, it was from my passion, you know, I just love to help people and uh, they say I'm very verbal and I'm a great trainer and everybody gets like so much uh, out of what I give to people and you know, it wasn't always like this though for me, you know. And I want to talk today about a program that we have for your graduates. Now, we know that we can get you really dialed into the resume, the application, and the interview. And for most people, just being able to get a job quick for good money uh, is just a great starting point for them right now. And for some people, it's a goal. Now, I always was came from that point of view of, we don't really necessarily want you to accept the first offer. We want you to find the job of your dreams. And if you just send out resumes and occasionally get an interview and occasionally get a job offer, most people we find in, in the field today are just taking perhaps that first offer they get because it's better than staying at home watching Judge Judy. And I happen to love Judge Judy, so let's say watching Oprah or CNN, whatever you like. Uh, I like that show where they show you how it's made. You know, that's a great show. Now, our Follow Your Dreams program is for graduates. This course here can all be done in a couple of hours, one morning, at our training center. And, you know, that's easy. Uh, I recommend it for everybody. Don't send out another application until you've taken this course. And everybody passes. If you don't pass, you do it again. <laughs> but everybody passes. And uh, the most important part of this is you. You see, unlike any other training program you might find online, unlike anything else in the universe, where the Career Counseling Group has a, has a process where we really, really want you to get your dream job or your dream career. We're not interested in uh, you taking the first job because it's the first offer you had and you haven't worked in a while. Uh, we're interested in developing your inner being so that we can develop that dream job for you, help you to identify where do you really want to work, where do you, what do you really want to do, who do you want to work with, what's your goals, how much do you want to make. Our personality profile process really allows our students to really uncover their dream job. Now, I will tell you, like many young men, when I was a young lad, uh, my dream job was to be a New York Yankee, okay? I think I wanted to be a catcher. I wasn't too good in sports, but I always wanted to be a Yankee. My dad was from New York. He always took me to the Yankee games. Now, obviously, you don't see me wearing a Yankee uniform now, right? So uh, that didn't happen. And there was a disconnect between what I really wanted to do, which was to be a Yankee. Oh, and by the way, there was a period of time where I chose a different profession. I really wanted to be like James Bond. Okay, uh, you know, a spy with a red convertible and, and all that stuff. So, you know, there was definitely a disconnect between what I was doing every day and what my goals were. You know, obviously, uh, you don't see 007 typed here, and you don't see a Yankee bat in my hand, although maybe they really still want me, you know? 57 years old, maybe I could still do something, you know. But anyway, make a long story short, I always, you know, once I uh, grew up and I started doing things that were, you know, normal and expected from me, I started doing things differently. And I remember somebody said, and you know, I'm a big fan of all Malcolm Forbes and, you know, all the top business leaders. I've always studied them and read their books. And I, re I remember uh, Malcolm Forbes before he passed away, some of you, Forbes, uh, Forbes 400 and his, his son Steve is a politician today. And the old man Malcolm was just incredible. And I think it was the Johnny Carson show, The Tonight Show. I'm showing my age now. Uh, Johnny asked him, Mr. Forbes, you're a millionaire at that time. I don't know, this was 30 years ago. Millionaires was a lot. And uh, he said, Mr. Forbes, what do you have to say to youth America today about finding their dream job or career? You're such a successful man. And Forbes said to Johnny, he says, well, they need three ingredients, three. They've got to be crazy, stupid, and dumb. And, you know, Johnny looked with the big eyes, and the audience went silent. Here's the leader of financial industry, Malcolm Forbes, 
telling the youth of America that in order to become successful and be a millionaire, they've got to be crazy, stupid, and dumb. Naturally, I'm very interested in this show right now because I know I'm half nuts. That's what my dad said anyway. But anyway, Johnny said to Mr. Forbes, why do you say that? That's, that's, that's odd. And Forbes said something that I'll never forget. He says, you got to be crazy enough to think up the idea, dumb enough to try it, and stupid enough to think that it's really going to work. Wow. Wow. Here is a business leader telling me that my ideas, my dreams, what I wanted to do, make the next, next Facebook, be the next Google, be the next Apple, that I just have to be nuts enough to believe that I could do it. You know, and we really nurture those dreams here at Career Counseling. And uh, then he said something even more remarkable. He said that success is the process of getting great at failing. What is this guy saying? But I listened. And Carson said to Forbes, explain that a little bit better. Success is the process of getting really good at failing. And Malcolm Forbes turned around and he said, you know, let me explain that to everybody. When you get up and try something new and you fail, if you say, that's it, I failed, I'll never do it again, I'm going to go back to washing cars, you have failed. But if you turn around and try it and fail and get back up the next day and say, you know what, I may have failed yesterday, I'm just going to go out and do things differently and try it again tomorrow. Forbes said, the more you pick yourself up and try it again, sooner or later you're going to get so much failure out of the way that the only thing left in this universe for you is going to be success. And it's exactly true. We have to get great at failing, don't take it personal, laugh it off and move forward. So I thank you so much to our group. Please take all the courses, have fun with it. I'll be around, you'll get to meet me. Thank you so much again for tuning in.